Hey there everyone, Inuyashers here. We're playing some rank joust. Or duel. It's it's joust, it's still season two for Xbox. Fuck it. So we're playing Hades again. We're going up against a Neath. Neath, it depends on the player how they play. If she can play well against a Hades. If she saves her jump, she's gonna be a lot safer. Something I'm going to look for is I'm going to be rushing cooldowns by going with cooldown boots into a Valor. That's going to give me defense as well as maximum cooldowns, which means I can jump on her very often. Now, jumping on her very often is going to be very nice for me. And, uh, yeah, so we're all going to see how she plays around her jump. That's really what it's going to come down to. I'm holding my X right there so I can hopefully jump in on this back wave. I want to try to shove it just a little bit faster. Force her to take some damage. Alright, she's fairly low. Oh! She let me get the first blood. She let me jump in. I guess she wasn't expecting the damage. I am started with the power potion to have that extra oomph to my hit. Now I'm backing here. It's a little bit early to pick up anything special, but I'm out of HP potions. I don't want to leave any windows open for her to get back into this. So I'm backing early and fast. There's no harm because I had the minion wave shoved under her towers. Her minions were not coming to lane yet or anything. So the back is basically for free. I pick up tier 2 boots for it. Alright. Gonna back off a bit. Okay. She's firing auto attacks very early. Which makes me assume that she's not very experienced. Let's see what she does whenever I jump in here. Okay, she did not use her flip. She held on to it. That's a positive sign for her. I was not aware I was level 6. Or level 5 already. And I'm eating some free damage. That's alright because I'm going to be able to heal it up with Blight off of the next wave. Now, she did flip out of that one. If I can manage to re-engage on her, I can get the kill. But, unfortunately, it's going to be pushed in. There's going to be none of that. No re-engage. She's doing very nice of a job on keeping me from doing too much. Now what I'm going to do this go around is I'm going to try to let the wave build up so I can get a nice good heal off of that. And I'm going to go ahead and let her clear that. If she tries to cancel my back, that's fine. But I'm going to build my cooldown boots and I'm going to get tier 2 of the Valor, grab me a couple HP potions, head back. This is going to give me a good chunk of armor while I get the cooldowns and a little bit of power from my boots. And I did it after shoving in waves, so I'm not losing any experience or gold from the minions. And yeah, so we're heading back out here. We're going to shove this one in. Okay, I missed the front line apparently. She's going to skill to clear. I'm getting a couple pokes off on her. She got a couple off on me. That's fine. Let's see her build. She rushed Transcendence, that's all she's got at the moment. So she backflipped out, we got a small window where her backflip is down. Now Minion Wave is going into her tower, she might stop it before her tower. Not too sure. Unfortunately it was just slightly too early for Red Buff to be up. Now, she has backflip, 
I, I was aware of that. Oh, is that kill? Is that kill? That is kill. So she came back out. She was a little bit overconfident. She should not have came, come back out there like that. I might have just returned the kill to her if she ulted right there. She did not. I was able to get the blight on the minions anyways, which allowed me to heal up. It was more of a panic thought than anything. I, I wasn't in any trouble right there. So she's doing very, fairly good about holding her jump. She just came back in to my range, which was her mistake. Now, I got full cooldowns. I don't think she's expecting that. But I can jump back in already. Alright, she jumped out. I can already jump back in. I don't think she's going to expect that. And her, she used her jump, so I don't think it's going to be up in time. Alright, her jump was indeed not up in time. And I'm going to actually go for the objective pressure right here. Normally, this early into a game, I would just go for the bus. But I had melee minions up. And I knew I could get a good chunk of that tower down. It just felt like the right thing to do. It felt like that was in rhythm. That was that was the move. So that's what I went for. I'm shoving this under tower. I don't have any kill pressure on her in that situation right there. And I'm not worried about anything she has. So I'm not leveling my silence. I'm just going to go for the raw damage. And I'm coming over here for this buff. Hopefully she doesn't come over here and throw down a skill to steal it. She did not. So I get red buff. She might be grabbing her. Oh, here she is. I do not want to fight her right here. I do not. Alright, it seems she went around the safe way, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to clear this red buff. I'm going to use a mana potion as much as I would like to back. I'm going to have to go in mid lane and I figured it would be better to be safe. She's going to try to do a quick push. I'm just grabbing my Book of Thoth and I'm going to head straight back out right away. She does have a minion way going to my tower and I do believe she's going to try to grab tower. She's going for it. She's not going to get too much because of how quickly I came back out. I just wasn't going to allow that. Now I would have liked to have grabbed Sprint right there as well as some HP potions just to ensure that I have a bit of leeway in this fight. But it just wasn't an option. I'm going to go ahead and make her pop, pop her jump. Okay, I'm stuck under tower. That is extremely bad for me. okay though I was able to jump out this is actually a bad situation for me I'm gonna have to blight off of most of that minion wave which I can do unless I one shot it I forgot about the fact that I could one shot it alright so I got enough time right here that I think I will be able to get the back and get back to lane fairly good she is fast pushing she does have a minion wave coming in but I'm almost back 
We'll see if she looks for any damage. She's not. She's just going to back off. Which is the right move for her. Since nothing is up, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to grab this blue buff. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm just going to pop it for some EXP. I'm already at my maximum cooldowns. Let's see what she has. She has Soul Eater and Executioner. She is very brave to not run uh, run from me. Like she's just gonna straight up tank that. All right. Okay, she got her net right there on me, which is bad. I did not mean to jump right there. That's BM as all fuck. That was a mistake. I am going to have to give up tower right here. That's unfortunate. She's going to get it. There's just nothing I can do about it. If she jumps out, she's safe. I missed the silence right there. That is fucked. Alright, I think I got the kill. Did I just miss my B? What the fuck did I miss? Alright, so I got I get the kill right there. I'm actually going to get her tower 2. So it's not too bad of a deal for me. Maybe I'm not going to get her tower. I'm not. Oh. Maybe I am. Shit. Alright. So it was tower for tower. Which is not too bad of a deal at all. She might notice that I'm going over here. She might not. I do not know. I think it was fairly telegraphed that I am going for this damage camp. So what I'm going to do now... So I'm going to start picking up my sprint. As well as Shield of the Underworld. I'm going to grab both of my actives in full right here. She's not pushing anything up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my HP potion stash. Just to make sure I have that region in the fight. She has some region going for her with her soul eater. I'm not sure where she is. She's grabbing buffs. Okay, she grabbed her purple. So I killed her with the minions right there actually. That was kind of an awkward death for her. I don't think we're going to get this all. But we're going to get a good chunk of that. Her ultimate is now down as well which is very good for me. Oh, it'd be so lovely to pressure the rest of that. Oh. 
She's not gonna let me get that. I'm gonna go ahead, come this way. I'm gonna pick up this red buff. She might try to come contest me for it. I do not know yet. I'm gonna pop a HP potion just in case. That way I'll have some region going in case there is a fight. Gonna come clear the minion wave. I'm actually gonna back off. As much as I would like to pressure her, I don't have any penetration for the Phoenix. So my damage is gonna be very minimal to it. I'm gonna have to catch her in a fight and get a kill in order for me to take it, unless she just makes some play where I can actually rush in on it. Hopefully I can take it. That would be huge for me. Do not know where she is. Oh shit, that's the wrong button too. Alright. So, I misplayed extremely hard. I'm going to go ahead and back off completely. back off. We're going to grab some HP potions. I'm going to actually grab a couple mix potions. It's a little early for me to do that. Next item is Rata Tahui and then it's going to be all power potions after that. So we're good. We're going to be able to take Phoenix off of that kill. I'm taking it a bit sloppy, but fuck it. We got it, you know? That's what matters, right? Right. So I'm going to grab this purple buff. I do not want her to have the attack speed because she's trying to shred me. She's coming this way. I'm just going to avoid her because there's no reason for me to even fight her. I'm going to even jump in on this buff just to ensure she doesn't get any of the experience for any of the things over here and we do have fire minions pushing out so her minion wave is not even going to push towards me I'm going to sell Vampiric Shroud grab most of my Rata Tahui, not quite all of it I'm going to go ahead head back out I would really love to grab a power potion but I'm just going to pass for now. We're going to focus on clearing some of the buffs. She's kind of stuck just clearing lane. Now she does know I'm over here. What I'm really doing is I'm getting my uh my Rata Tahui. That's the entire point of me clearing the bus right here. It's wasting a good chunk of the Phoenix being down, but it forces her to stay in lane. She has to just clear waves. She can't really do anything else, you know? So I grab my Rata Tahui. That's gonna be my full build. All I can do now to get stronger is some power potions. I got a fresh red buff. What I'm going to need to focus on doing is grabbing the next Phoenix. If I can keep her shoved in, very, I can keep the pressure up. Alright, she killed herself. She used her jump early. 
And I did not ult, I just sprinted in. The reason why I did that was because, well, her jump is down. So all I gotta do is catch her and then use my ultimate. And I was good. Alright, so I got fire minions going in on the left side. I'm over here on the right. She's ulting me. I don't know why. She's letting my fire minions unload on that thing. And because I was shoved in. Because I was shoved in like that, I was able to kill the phoenix right away. So she can fight me or she can fight those fire minions. I'm forcing her to choose. She has to pick a side. And the correct answer is no answer because you can't fight both. So that's the game. Hades vs. Neath. She did very, fairly nice early on but there's not much she could do later on. Once I grab sprint, if she jumped out of my first engage, all I had to do was hold my ultimate and not use it because if you use your ultimate right away, she can just jump out. So I would engage on her, force her into a situation where she would have to use her jump. After, after she had to use her jump because I had full cooldowns and sprint, I was able to just catch up to her and then use my ultimate. And at that point, there's no way she can get out. She actually had no actives. If she would have went with beads and sprint, she could have maybe had more of a chance right there, but... Yeah, she did not get any actives. That's kind of odd, and it makes me think I'm playing someone that's a lower tier. Could explain why I'm 7-0 and no also in this situation. But, anyways, that's the game. That's my analysis. Thank you all for watching. You all take care. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, share. All that good stuff. It really does help out, and I really do appreciate it. You all take care, and have a wonderful day.